School will get a special treat during lunch today. It has nothing to do with food or drinks. It's all about entertainment. Yeah, Dina's live there to explain. Yes, that's right. Good morning to all of you. We are at Hiram Johnson, and the wall you see behind me is going to be transformed. It will not be a brick wall at all, my friends. It will be a canvas for dancers, and they will be suspended over the top of this. You see the rope coming down right now, and they will be doing a beautiful performance for the students here at Hiram Johnson during their lunch hour at around 1230 this afternoon. And I do want to talk to Emily Dans, who is helping to kind of orchestrate all of this. What is the purpose of this beautiful dance performance that's going to be happening today? Yeah, so today is meant to be a tease for the students. They are going to actually be at lunch and see dance. Dancers surprise them by ascending off the wall and doing a six minute dance piece for them. Um, and this is to introduce them to the world of vertical dance. And then in May, we're going to be offering four four hour long workshops for 25 students here for free um, to learn how to do this type of art form in a way to build confidence and self esteem and get exposed to new art. This is so cool. And I do have a little Instagram video on my phone if we can show it. I know it's going to be real small here, but this is a look at what this is going to look like when they're up and suspended. It's a pretty dangerous looking stunt. So uh, getting ready for this, we've got the dancers from 2.4 who are going to be over here. Tony, come on over. We're looking at the video now. Tell me what it's like to prepare for something like this. This is not normal dancing on a stage. You are being suspended in the air. Correct. Yeah, it's a lot of safety involved. We're making sure that everybody's safe. Whenever we climb over, there's always these double checks that are happening. So yeah. we want to be sure that everybody feels okay going over the edge of a building. And how long does it take to prepare for something like this? A six minute routine is no short feat. <laughs> no, it's not. We've been preparing for the past like maybe three or four months. Wow. So we took a piece that we had before and kind of modified it to, for a larger building. Oh my gosh, yeah. so cool. Okay, so you can see the scale of the building behind me. You see how large this is, and they are going to be using the entire space. It's going to be a beautiful performance here at Hiram Johnson. Then you heard Emily talk about those workshops that will be offered later in May. So we'll have more. From Hiram Johnson, hopefully, get a look at what's going on with these dancers coming up, guys. But this is really a cool opportunity for these students to see something a little different. Maybe they haven't seen something like this before and they yeah. can get inspired yeah. to dance. That's Back really to you. cool. It's incredible, too. Thanks, Dina. Well, the weather is heating up, so it's time to dust off the grill.